everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, my brain is like completely fried at the moment. <laughs> I just finished shooting a post in French, in Spanish, in Mandarin, now we're going back to English, like ah! So many languages in such a short period of time, and but that is okay, that is kind of my life anyway. <laughs> it's good for the brain, right? It's good for the brain. Now, well, I wanna jump in doing some, and to do some uh, 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 intermediate slash advanced English here. Now, and what I wanna talk about specifically right now is a little bit more about some accents and what happens when a native speaker is speaking a little bit quickly. And I wanna preface this, I wanna kind of, yeah, preface this a little bit with the following here, which is that this is going to be specifically tailored to more of a Canadian accent, and I would even say kind of a quote unquote standard American accent as well, a little bit of that too. And you know, there's a couple things that happen when, we, when we're speaking a little bit quickly, when we're speaking really casually. Often there's sounds that we just sort of cut out or that we don't pronounce the same way that you would if you were speaking slowly. So for example, if we have things that finish in a T, okay? So if I say things like a, like a I don't know, like a kite or like a, like a kite or like a, 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 a mat, often the T is not really pronounced. So for example, you might have even caught it. When I said the word kite the first time, I didn't say it kite, I said kite. Oh, you know, I was flying a kite the other day. Or I was like, I was rolling around on a mat the other day. The other thing that happens as well, and I don't know if you guys heard it, if you're listening very carefully, you might have heard it. Um, when we have an I-N-G at the end of a word, we don't always say ing. So I don't always say running or jumping or, 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 or rolling or whatever it is. We might say rolling, jumping, uh, 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 you know, flying. So instead of ing, that I-N-G, which is how technically speaking should be pronounced, we actually just cut it short and make it like a n, <laughs> like a n. Like you said, so we kind of cut the g off for speed's sake, right? So there's a lot of little things like that we, that we do, and um, and that's actually why, in a lot of in a lot of reasons, why as to why um, some people kind of struggle with understanding native speakers when they're speaking quickly, right? Because we're doing so many of those little things that just make that basically basically make it like impossible for your ears to capture like what the heck is going on. <laughs> Even things like it just occurred to me actually, often when we have like a T, right, usually double T's as I'm talking this out and thinking out loud, um, or even like, actually, I just heard it as I was talking, even like final D's at time, at times, we actually pronounce closer to a little bit of a Spanish R. So for example, I would never say like a pot of tea, I'd say a pot of tea. A pot of tea, a pot of tea, so that T in the word pot becomes closer to an R. Or even, for example, I was saying, what was I just saying? Or even the word like bottle, right? We don't say bottle, we say bottle. So that's kind of like a, a, a Spanish single R. So that happens a lot when we're talking, right? Like I, for example, it just occurred to me right now, I would, for example, say like, um, like, oh man, there is a lot of wind outside today. There is a lot of wind, a lot of wind. Not a lot of wind wind, but a lot of wind. So notice, even the F in the word of gets completely cut off, right? And so often what happens when you're listening to English speakers is that we'll just cut off the final letters of a whole bunch of like, of a whole bunch of words. Kind of a weird thing. I don't know why we do it. I guess it's faster. I, I, I don't know. But anyway. Oh, last thing before you wrap this up. Even I don't know often turns into I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, not even I don't know. It's more like a Spanish R at the beginning of the word dunno. I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know. Very weird, very, very, very weird. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Really, really appreciate your attention. By the way, in the description below, uh, there's a link if you guys wanna take free uh, English lessons with me. Um, please note one thing is that I, you know, sometimes I'm pretty busy and don't always have a ton of open space, but I'll always try my best. To, to accommodate you and, and give you some free some free help. So feel free to go in the link and schedule yourself in for some free for some free English lessons. So anyway, uh, yeah, chat, chat chat with you later. Bye for now.